Hey everyone, it is Shannon, and I am here today to talk about a film for 31 Days of Horror 2019, and I'm going to be talking about Creepy, Creepy, or, this is also the title in Japanese, although when I put this, I'm not going to attempt to say it, because I don't know how to say the accents, um, but I put this, at least this last phrase, into Google Translate, and it's the day-to-day -day phosphorus is the literal translation, and there was no translation for that, so I'm not quite sure where they're going with that. Um, but yeah, so I, I was really excited to um, see that this was available on Canopy because it is directed by Kiyoshi Kurosawa, who did... I think the film that I've seen, the first film that I've seen by him was Tokyo Sonata, which is a family drama, but he has done a fair amount of horror in the past. Um, and I know that I've seen Pulse, but he's also done Seance, which I don't think I saw Seance, but I loved Pulse. Um, and so, yeah, so I was extremely excited about seeing this. Um, it ended up being a different kind of film than I thought it was going to be. But before we get into that, let's get into some of the details. And unfortunately, like, I, I didn't find a really great poster. That one's not bad. Um, but the, and this one's pretty good, but then, oh, oh, it says creepy in English, so that's not bad. So let's go with this one, at least for these first parts. There's another one, but I will leave that for a moment. So as I mentioned, this is directed by uh, Kiyoshi Kurosawa. It stars Hidetoshi Nishijima, Yuko Tegeshi, oh no, Tegeshi, Tegushi, sorry, Teriyuki Kagawa, and Ruiko Fujino. And one more person, because I, I did not pull his name, because I pulled four names and there's five people there, so bad Shannon. A link to the IMDb page will be down below, of course, as always. Um, this film came out in 2016. Um, it's a Japanese film. It's in Japanese. And I would put this actually more, it is horror, it is horror, but I would put it a little bit more in the land of thriller or mystery. Um, I gave it a seven and a half out of ten or a three and a half out of five, but no heart. I am so sad to say that it gave, I got no heart for this. It is a really well crafted film. It just was not what I was expecting. With the title of Creepy and with the director uh, seeing other films by him, I thought this was going to be more of a supernatural type of creepy, but it is not. And it's pretty clear from the get go that that's not what they're going with because this centers on a detective um, who studies psychopaths and so you know you you, just, you unfortunately 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 everyone's different but you're dealing with humans here um so this one is more about someone who is creepy and i'll give you a better a bit it's also it was at the um berlin film festival so there's another poster that gives you a bit more of the creepy tone going on here um yeah so yeah i don't i man i don't even know where to start with this one i'm gonna stick with this one because it's got all the cast on there um so yeah so this one as i mentioned it, it features a detective um who studies psychopaths um and then he becomes uh an instructor and then leads a more calmer life moves uh with his wife to a different neighborhood and so they're trying to acclimatize themselves to this neighborhood and lifestyle and stuff like that. And then, but like, it's just like, people aren't super receptive. People are pretty strange or, or distant. And it's like, they're, you know, like, it's hard to tell why. And, you know, things progress. And then a cold case comes up at his new job, a cold case comes up. Um, and he starts to get interested in that, so we start to get into the mystery of this cold case, as well as the sort of continual tension around sort of the neighborhood situation. This is actually a film now that I'm talking about it. I'm like, wow, I don't have much to say about this that doesn't go into the land of spoilers. So this will be very interesting. Um, I will say that the acting in this is done really well, as well as the writing and the pacing. That being said, the it is a bit long. For me, it was a bit long at two hours and 10 minutes, which is, I think, almost always feels too long for horror. I think most horror fil films are an hour and a half. Now, this is a bit more of a drama thriller, which can definitely get you into two hours. And I'm not saying anyone has to stand by any running time standards or anything like that. I just felt with myself, I was feeling a little, 
well, you're supposed to feel uncomfortable. That, like, the title is creepy. <laughs> like, the, like, you're supposed to feel uncomfortable. It plays on that social dynamic of, like, of uncomfort and comfort. And what do you do? And what do you do? Say something. Do you not say something? What happens if you decide not to say something? Is that going to make something go further? And then, like, the complex relationships that start to develop or the complex dynamics that start to develop within the relationships as time goes on and on and on and on and on. And then we also have like lots of emotional stuff going with the, the couple trying to acclimatize to a different situation, um, both with each other and like uh, him with his job. She doesn't appear to have a job. Um, so there's that. <laughs> um, and then, uh, and then um, yeah, they never talk about that. They, you know, so that I thought that was a bit weird. I don't know. Um, and um yeah, and then the job, and then his, like, interest in this cold case, and he, you know, reaches out to a colleague, and, you know, they start looking into stuff, and it's pretty disturbing, and there's lots of disturbing stuff in this one, and that's actually, I think, what makes it become not an eight and not a heart, is that, so, like, my expectation, it was different than I expected, because it was of the, not of a supernatural creepy nature, which, you know, I can only, I, I feel like, I tried that to have that influence my rating only so much because, you know, because it's it's not the film's fault that I thought it was going to be something else, unless it was marketing. This is something I just noticed on Canopy. I, I recognized the director. I looked at the title. I said, yes, I pressed play. Like, it wasn't like I didn't research it at all. So it's not the film's fault. But there are a lot of disturbing things in this film, not only the social dynamics and this sort of build of, of, you know, complex stuff within the relationships, but there were also, as the film progresses and it gets more serious, there were lots of disturbing things, and there were some of my thing, some of the things that when I see in film, whether it is a horror movie or a drama or a comedy, I am not comfortable with, that I do not want to see in any situation, um, like, it's not, like, it's just, like, and just, you know, generally, it's, um, like anything to do where someone is so distanced from treating other people like humans is not good. Um, whether it's passive or whether it's active um, or whether it's manipulative. And this film really deals with all of those things. So it's like, that's really a lot of the heart of it. Now, it's not like promoting it or anything like that. It's, it's showing it. Um, and it does it very well. Like it's very um, in terms of uh, structure, in terms of the story and how it is laid out, it is done very well, but it's very, very disturbing. So for me, it just wasn't a win from that point. Um, so which just, it really makes me sad. Um, but yeah, so, but I do have like good memories of other stuff that the film has, uh, that the director has done. Um, you know, I enjoyed Pulse. It reminded me that I still want to see Seance and there's at least one other horror film um, but it's just, it's so funny because I, like, I, you know, I first saw it, the first thing I saw, I'm pretty sure it was Tokyo Sonata, which is just a really, really lovely family drama. And I saw it at TIFF like years ago and he was there. He was like, like four feet from me because I was sitting on the balcony and he came to like, you know, before they did the Q and A, they came to look in and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so it's just how, so like you have all these things that make you feel differently, like stronger about certain um, what could be a genre, could be a person. And, um, so that influences it. So I really wanted to like it, but, and I'm not saying it's not a good film. It's just that I didn't enjoy it. I think it's actually really well done. Although I do think it was a bit long. I don't know if it needed to go over the two hour mark. Um, but again, expectations play into that in terms of how you're feeling in the moment of watching the movie. But that being said, I really don't like spoilers, so I don't, I, if it's, if there's anything about a film that I'm interested in, I am happier to try it as opposed to research it, depending on how it's available. Like, this was available on Canopy, I get eight, um, you know, rentals a month, so the risk is only my time, so, and, and, and end up, I did end up being disappointed because I didn't enjoy the film, but that doesn't mean it's not a good film. So yeah, so this plays on a lot of stuff that I just, it was just like a bad mix of things that Shannon doesn't like, <laughs> but the acting was good. Um, and there, I did find there was one thing I was confused about. There was one character, um, the neighbor's daughter, I found a little confusing. Um, so that, that was the only thing that felt like a bit of a, 
not a red herring per se. And there was one story that I felt like they, they dropped a little bit. Um, but maybe the resolve was, wasn't, uh, like, yeah, that, so there was two, there, there were two sort of more technical things that I felt were a bit confusing or un, unfinished. Um, but I was also pretty tired and feeling a little, like a little impatient. Um, so they could have, it could have been there and I could have just missed it. So it's possible. It's possible. I watched it really late. <laughs> Not a good choice. Why do I watch horror movies so late? Yeah, so it definitely ended up being horror. It definitely ended up being scary, but not from the kinds of scary that I like. It was just like, yeah, people can be horrible kind of scary. Yeah, that's a scary thing. Legit. Legit. It's not the kind of horror movies I like to watch, but you know, anyway, I will watch Seance and I will try and get a hold of some of his other back catalog titles because they definitely want to see more from Kiyoshi Kurosawa. So that was creepy. Let me know, have you seen it? Would you watch it? Have you seen other films by Kiyoshi Kurosawa that you would recommend? Because he definitely has quite a filmography. I've barely scratched the surface um, and have seen most of the stuff like in the middle. <laughs> so there's lots more to enjoy. So there you go creepy, really, really creepy. It is interesting to see the different styles of the posters. I can't see it. See this? Oh, Retribution. Yeah, that's one of the other films he did. Retribution. See, like that. That's totally up my alley. Totally up my alley. That was him, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. It doesn't say. Does it say? I can't tell. It does not say, but I'm pretty sure that visual is familiar to me. So there you go. That is creepy. And it did it did creep me out. So at least that's something. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one.